Good afternoon, my name is Alan Ko. Today's talk is on varicose veins, as you can see on the TV screen, and how energy medicine supports our body's metabolic processes to improve this medical condition. What are varicose veins first? They're swollen, twisted, painful veins that have filled with abnormal collection of blood. If you put a dye in there, uh, you can see how clearly the um, twisted veins are. What are the causes of varicose veins? Non-functional valves. You look at the valves, blood supposed to go up and cannot come back down. What happened? Got lousy, damaged valve. Blood goes up, comes back down, and therefore the pooling of blood, uh, bad flow of blood, causing it to pool or uh, retain, and therefore got enlarged and twisted veins as a consequence. Our job, therefore, is to improve the strength and the health of these living valve cells and also all the muscle cells and nerve cells along the vein as it, con it contract and push um, the uh, blood, it could push with quite a lot of vigor and therefore they would not come back. There are two types of uh, varicose veins, the primary and the secondary. Primary is usually a congenital defect born with the, uh, the valves that's damaged Whereas secondary is due to some obstruction like pregnancy, pelvic tumors, prolonged sitting, especially with cross legs, obesity, too fat, wearing constrictive clothing at the start, can, all these can lead on to varicose veins. And some people stand too much. Prolonged standing due to gravity and pressure uh, can also cause secondary varicose veins. How about the heredity risk? If both parents got varicose veins, there's an 80% chance that our child can get it. If one parent get, gets, uh, has varicose veins, one of the two children will get it. Uh, if both parents uh, have no varicose veins, there's still a 20% much lesser uh, percentage chance of our children getting varicose vein. Signs and symptoms, complications of varicose vein, pain in the legs, fullness, heaviness, aching of the legs, visible and large twisted veins in the leg, and uh, mild swelling of ankles, skin and ankles discolored brown, skin ulcers near ankle, phlebitis, is chronic inflammation is a complication of this uh, medical condition, therefore get chronic inflammation of our veins, formation of leg ulcers, rupture of varicose veins, all this can, uh, you know, the list goes on and on and can be quite a vicious cycle too. Now, when we do electric energy treatment, we got a bit more better hope to reduce the condition by charging all the heart cells, muscle cells, valve cells, which are living cells, fully to a good electrical activity of 70 to 90 millivolts, and that will improve the strength of the vascular tone, the blood vessels as they contract, relax, contract, relax, push the, the blood upwards to the heart will be so much better, therefore improving the return of of the blood to the heart, therefore less retention or pulling of blood downwards due to gravity also. Magnetic energy treatment on the other hand improves blood circulation and that will reduce the risk of blood pooling. Far infrared reduces inflammation like phlebitis, reducing, reducing the complications of, of the, um, uh, the, uh, the varicose veins and therefore decreasing the swelling of blood vessels and reducing the risk of chronic inflammation. Thermoxibustion, on the other hand, is heat treatment plus moxibustion treatment combined. The heat treatment will dilate the blood vessels in the area and cause a better blood flow to move away the toxins there, and the blood flow will, will keep on pressing the um, blood upwards, and so pooling of blood will not occur with increased blood flow. Moxibustion, on the other hand, is to stimulate qi energy flow so that more qi goes to the valve cells, to the heart cells, to the uh, veins, muscle cells, and the nerve cells, and so on. They will work in synergy to improve the forcing the blood upwards and therefore not pulling back and enlarge the, the veins further down the body. And uh, because blood clots can also be reduced, uh, you find that, uh, you know, the uh, complication of varicose veins where blood clot formation is concerned and therefore deep vein thrombosis will not occur easily when we apply thermoxibustion heat treatment. When you add all these four treatments together, there's absolutely no choice but for the medical condition to keep on improving over time. Thank you very much.